Toshi Kluke der Baramir Thessel Shannon Todd, a Kluke at Club of Valley in a Dull, Mr. Heineke Kuhn and the Hutchison Vale. It started when I was around the age of nine. I joined the Royal High Primary School boys team. Me and my best friend Paige, we joined the boys team as the only two girls in the squad. So every Saturday morning, put our boots on and we had to walk down to Northfield Park, kick off at nine o'clock in the morning. Rain, snow, whatever, whatever the weather. So it was probably from there that I'd say um, I decided that I had a real love for the game. The World Cup was on, that was probably uh, massive for me, following the big players. Going back, that's probably when Ronaldo started to get his recognition and Messi. And now if you look at them now, they've been not bad role models to grow up following. So I wasn't really sure if it was an option. Um, women's football, as you can imagine, wasn't as big as it is now back then. And Hutchison Vale had come in and I started training with them. I think around the age of 10, I then pursued that and started competing with them at the age of under 13s and right through to under 17s. So I was awarded with a five year um, serviceship of Hutchison Vale. I spent about six years with the club. Hoshin Shannon Glowis Gu Hibernian, Aisa Kaunichin Sorich Aikilish and Thu Dunajin, for in the Vuenichian Dubuchin and Davilis Akir Giok. I think I'd maybe had made some comments about it being a dream to play for Hibs as grown up as a fan, and I think I signed for Hibs at the age of 16 and joined their under 17 squad. Probably my fondest memory for Hibs was my first goal, and coincidentally that came against Hearts in a 2 1 win at Meg Atlant at 17, so that was pretty special. It was such a talented, young, great bunch of girls. Um, I think we almost completed the season undefeated. I'm pretty sure it came down to a game against Hearts where we won the league and then um, the League Cup we was a 5-1 win, so that was pretty special as well. A stray kujahook let Art the Partick Thistle and a Davilis is she a jiuk. Glua Shannon go Spartans, for a very far king and Danny can cluche a get a rard good that was a great achievement. Um, again, my time at Partick Thistle, that was pretty special. The players I met along the way, friends for life. It was a great club to be a part of. Wasn't a pretty big outfit at the time, um, and it's really progressed now, which is lovely to see from being there from the start. Uh, yeah, I loved my time at Spartans. Um, it's probably a team that I'll always keep close to me. Love everything that it stands for. The people are amazing, and it's a really good setup, and you are treated really well um, throughout your time there. I started off at Spartans, obviously, in the Development League. I think I spent two seasons, maybe more there, before Debbie moved me up to the Prem team. And that's where I feel my football really progressed. I felt that the standard I'm at now in playing in the Premier League too came from my time at Spartans and being under the coaches there. In this year, Burham Your Thistle has shown in Tolliger if you're Rashida Fitch, a shy year of your horse to host of Arsh and Nuri, a whom a mach here son have all earned you at me. I feel it was possibly always on the cards. Susie had contacted me a few months before, um, a few months beforehand, and asked if uh, I'd be interested in a chat. Um, however, it wasn't a decision that I made then and there. And then I reached out to her a couple of months later, and here we are. To have played for such a long time, it's probably one of um, the few serious injuries I've ever sustained. It was really just a coming together with the keeper in the box. Um, nothing malicious, but obviously I've come off worse at the time. Initially I thought I'd broke my leg um, and they actually came back clear. So after an MRI scan and um, a few orth appointments with orthopaedics, they confirmed that I'd need surgery and I had that about six to eight weeks later. When I got my MRI results, probably the first question asked um, the orthopaedic surgeon was, when would I be back on the pitch? That was really the only thing that was in my head. Not walking, not working, when was I back on the pitch? And he said, January. So I've pretty much hit my benchmark. I would have liked to have been on the pitch um, at Christmas time. However, I'm pretty glad that I made the January benchmark. Yeah, it was pretty tough. I was in a leg brace for six months straight, 24-7. Um, I was only allowed to take it off when showering. So walking about, working, training and getting back to full fitness was all in my leg brace. It was draining mentally, but my goal was always to get back on the pitch and that kept me going. I think every week I was counting down in my diary whether it was how many weeks I'd been injured or how many weeks to go. Oh, I was absolutely delighted. I had done private physio, so I'd worked really hard. It was tiring, it was sore, but the relief to have just got on the pitch at Meadowbank in January was just, I, no words, so, but I'd done it. Hashan and Gamis had a falling off the game at Alessachuk. Ayas, a kujahov baramur of futhusuas amord. 
Hai moichel as nach holen nisen riech kliche ich ge. Ai is vros nich hier hier hulen nien, bis grämein in a kormene ha balkosche tavein. It's been a frustrating one. However, we've shown great character. We've been in the top two in the league and it's just been frustrating that we've dropped points to teams below us in the table. But, you know, we can only build on that and we're very keen to rectify that in the next coming months and get points and get some goals in the team. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my goal is to be playing consistently and hopefully scoring every week. So, yeah, obviously I want to keep playing at a high level, um, ideally Premier League, and if I can get back to Premier League 1, then that would be perfect. So I just have to have a really good push at it, get back to full fitness and see where it goes. Looking back at it now, it is something that I'm really proud of, um, and it is something that I can only hope can get better. So I'll see what the next few years bring, but yeah, another chapter starting. I'd say that it's come on so much since I was a little girl. I think that if you're the parent or you are that little girl and football is your dream or an interest, go for it because the opportunities are massive and you'll never know if you don't try.